Dear colleagues and friends, Accountability to Affected People, or AAP, has been part of the Humanitarian Reform Agenda for over two decades, and it's reinforced by the Grand Bargain Commitment. As a former resident coordinator, I also feel really personally connected and committed to this subject, given the mandatory responsibilities of humanitarian country teams. And just to share a personal story, I'll never forget when I was in Nepal and I was in one of the remote mountain districts. We had just finished one um, mobile health camp specifically for women and girls and we were moving to the next site and walking through the village. And obviously in Nepal, especially in remote areas of Nepal, I'm very noticeable. And there was a lot of commotion um, as I was walking through, and I noticed this woman at that particular point in time, she was backing me, um, but when I got to her, she turned uh, to face me, and then I could see that she was blind and that she had um, an infection um, in her eyes. She turned to face me and said, can you help me? And at that point in time, I couldn't help her because we had our, our mobile um, health camp had closed and was moving on to the next site. And even though it's a health team uh, predominantly for women and girls, for basic infections and common diseases, it provides um, public health services to the general population. So she could have been served if she could have accessed um, access the services we were providing. And that shows exactly what happens when we don't take into account the most vulnerable um, in communities and have systems that reach and communicate with all of those who need the really, really important work that we do and the services we provide. So yes, Accountability to Affected Populations, AAP, it's yet one other acronym in the work that we do. But I want you to think of it in the lives of, the, of people, the people that we serve, the people who most need our services, because we can help them and we should help them. And this course and training is a reminder of how you can do exactly that. While progress has been made, challenges remain in holding the humanitarian community accountable effectively and in raising community voices to steer the humanitarian response towards people-centered priorities. We need to improve our collective action to the people we serve and protect them in crisis. And this starts by listening to them as well as engaging them in prioritization and decision-making processes with the full engagement from our leadership. In the absence of substantive changes to humanitarian programs and our collective response, these efforts can be perceived as mere symbolic gestures rather than genuine attempts to address community concerns. So we have to remember that in the eyes of the people affected by crises, we as international actors are all the same. In most cases, Affected communities do not make a distinction whether we're working for a development or a humanitarian um, program or project. For too many of them, we are their lifeline to lead them to recovery. So in practical terms, we've learned that um, complaints and feedback mechanisms or hotlines can become mere fixtures that are unappealing to communities due to our inability to course correct. A decrease of complaints doesn't mean we're doing a good job and in fact may mean that they have lost trust in the humanitarian system and structure. So we need to raise our bar collectively. Our agility in humanitarian programming can facilitate durable solutions guided by voices from the communities and our local partners who represent the communities. Today is only the beginning of greater tasks at hand with this new pilot of the interagency AAP training package for in-country leadership developed by the IASC AAP task force members. This is the result of great collaboration with all partners in the localization, gender empowerment, and PSCA, and with donors, combining all the resources 
for the purposes of the people we serve. I know you're going to have a fruitful discussion today and learn from our leaders and champions in the country offices. I count on each of you to champion yourselves and go beyond boundaries in the pursuit of meaningful AAP approaches. We're here for the people we serve. They are the ones who remind us why we exist. Thank you.